Hey guys, it's Pastor Joel and it's a Rise and Build Prayer. You know, our name of our church is Bara. It's the Hebrew word Bara. There's no uh, vowels in Hebrew, just a bunch of consonants. And um, the word Bara is the first verb used in the Bible, uh, but it's also the verb for Psalm 51, create in me a clean heart. And this Psalm was written by David right after he had sinned and was overcome with, with uh, grief and remorse and uh, just felt terrible for his sin with Bathsheba and the court, consequently with her husband Uriah. And um, he writes this Psalm acknowledging, God, you're the only one that can do this. Like you're the only one. He knows the power of the word bara. The verb, every time it's used in scripture, God is the subject. Man cannot bara, only God can. And so he's saying, if you're gonna, if you're gonna give me a clean heart, create in me a clean heart from the inside out, it's gonna be you that does it can't do this on my own. You're going to renew a right spirit within me. It's only by your power that that happens. And when I think about Arise and Build and this great call that God has given us for our church to build the hill, to go to this place, this new season, and, and the timing is all his, it's only going to be by his power. It's by his grace that we're even uh, have this gift, this promise, this great call, but it's by his power that we will get there. And we're asking God to create this future, to lead us and do what only he can do. And yet we have our part. And so we pray and we confess our need. We confess our uh, belief in him, our faith in him. And he prepares us as I talked about last week. So I'm going to pray. And we're going to ask God to create as only he can. Let's pray. God, thanks for the call to arise and build the call to join you as you do what only you could do. And so, Father, we just ask that you would uh, help us remember our dependence upon you, that we would not forsake this need, that we would just realize that if it's going to happen, it's only going to happen by your power. You're the one who's done it thus far. And as you prepare us, God, for this new season, this next season, may you find us faithful. May you find us humble. May you find us dependent, ready to receive, and, and, and willing to do our part, but also, God, totally convinced that this won't happen unless you do your part. So we love you, we thank you, and we say again, oh God, we need you. Create in us what needs to happen so that we can arise and build. And Father, we know you've already given us success. You've already given us favor. You've already given us this hill. We just need to be prepared and make plans and, and get ready to possess it. And we thank you, Jesus, for your great love for us. And we love you so much. It's through your beautiful name that I pray for a church that I love. Amen. I love you guys. Keep praying your words your way. And I'll see you next week.